What's up, Omnistar, Saigon Starker here, and welcome back to Overwatch 2. I'm going to be buying and showcasing Malga's Gold Gun. Alright, so here's the default gun. And here's the Gold Gun. Alright. Damn! They're gold as hell, oh my god! Alright, so here's every skin. Sand. Palm. Ocean. Lava. Magma. And Bone Splinter. I think I prefer Magma. Only because the red goes with the gold. Alright. Here's the highlight intros. Alright, so... Cha-Cha and Gunny. You know, even probably the future highlight intros aren't going to be as good as these. Cha-Cha and Gunny is by far going to be the best, like, gold gun showcase highlight intro. Let's see heroic real quick, actually. Yeah, Cha-Cha and Gunny. Emotes. Yeah, this is definitely like Malga's gold guns are definitely top five, without a doubt. With how gold they are now, like, or how gold they are compared to like some of these other gold guns, like Moira's, Kiriko's. I mean, like even like some of the you know more noticeable gold guns, like Doomfist. Uh, who else is there? Doomfist, Roadhog, Reinhardt, Bastion. Malga is definitely up there with top five. Probably, all right. I'd say he's tied with like Doomfist Gold Gun because let me put a here. Thunder's pretty good with a Gold Gun. So not only do you get the Gauntlet, but of course you get the uh, the Knuckle Shots, whatever they're called, the Hand Cannon. All right, his knuckles turn gold. Here, maybe we'll show on Bone Breaker. Oh, kind of barely actually. All right, but yeah. So uh, let me showcase everything Malga has, of course. So of course, like I showcased the skins already, but here's the skins again. Highlight intros again. Emotes again. All right, victory poses. To be honest, I shouldn't have button. I should have got all me. I kind of bought that, but now that I have the gold gun. Alright, weapon charms. I wonder if it goes on both guns. Hopefully. Voice lines. It's never boring. I like it when the prey fights back. Wanna arm wrestle? Bigger. The bigger is better. Let's get that blood pumping. If I owe my Lekawa, as long as I get paid, hit me as hard as you can. Oh. Lighten up. Who's ready to have some fun? The fight starts now. All right. The sprays, of course. <laughs> Yo, that's the rock reference. I just realized that's the rock reference. Okay. Oh, shit. Yo, they added the arm wrestling uh, spray. That's actually really cool. 
All right, let's see his uh, achievement sprays. All right, here's his pixel spray. Cute spray. All right, now let's see him in game. Little comparison. Looking hot. This is a flex. Yeah, so Maug is the first character I've ever gotten his golden gun, when he was released at least, in the same season. The reason for that, Maug is just simply the best character added to Overwatch 2. You couldn't see that it was Ramatra, now it's Mauga. Easily Mauga. I don't know, Mauga's character just kind of like resonates with my kind of playstyle. I like the like, real adrenaline, uh, adrenaline rush kind of playstyle. Like, that's why I played Junker Queen. That's the entire reason why I swapped the tank originally, was because uh, Junker Queen's playstyle was like a more like kind of adrenaline rush DPS. It had more health. She had more health than DPS, but she still had like a DPS playstyle. Now, guarantee that's the wrong perception of Junker Queen. She has obviously a more tank playstyle, but you know, transferring from Overwatch One to Overwatch Two as a DPS main, the way I looked at it was. The tank just had more health than the DPS, but they could also, you know, match the DPS's DPS, essentially. And, you know, obviously, a year and a couple months forward, uh, I think that, honestly, it was probably my best decision, Overwatch career-wise, since I've gotten Overwatch, since I pre-ordered it on the PS4. You know, that was how many years ago now, and I'm finally on tank. You know, it all started like with kind of like playing like uh, Roadhog. This double tank. It was Roadhog and a little bit Zarya, Reinhardt, of course. And then I also played. Uh, who else did I play on tank back then? It was mainly Roadhog because Roadhog was kind of like I don't know. Roadhog had a really broken play style. He was really annoying to go up against. I mean, like you had two supports and another tank to kind of guardian and the other dps the dps to like kind of like go fight so you kind of just like did your own thing you could everything was just at your own pace but it all started with roadhog zarya play a little bit of sigma too sigma was fun I played a lot of Orisa, that's what I played. A lot of Orisa. <laughs> I could make this a habit. Orisa and Roadhog were probably my tank mains back then. But I never thought I'd be a tank main. I always thought I'd end up playing more Hanzo, Genji, Soldier, Bastion, Ash. I still play those characters, but I certainly enjoy tank the most. It's the most important role, and I don't know. But thankfully, since Junker Queen was added, I've been a tank main, and here I am now maining Malga. And the reason why I like Malga, even though I know he just, he definitely gets countered a lot, Malga definitely gets countered a lot by Ana, fucking 
held it. Even like Kiriko, because she can cleanse you from the fire. Life Weaver, because he pulls you back from Malga's fucking machine guns. Tree Life, obviously. Sigma, Diva. So he gets countered easily. Don't get me wrong, but. I just enjoy playing Malga. The self heals are great too. I love the self heals. Cardiac Overdrive. I think it's interesting too. Uh, the way they implemented like the two hearts thing, I think that's really cool actually. Because realistically, if humans did have two hearts, uh, blood circulation would be a lot more even. And realistically, guys, we would be a lot bigger, just like Malga. So I think that's actually really cool and unique. It's also really cool to see a Samoan character. Yeah, here's his character information, in case they do change it. You know, I never expected Orisa or a couple other characters to get their characters reworked. Or Roadhog, even. Roadhog and Sombra, I never expected that. But here's his abilities. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully this inspired you guys to play Malga and get Malga's gold gun. And like I said, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day and a great night, and I'll see you then.